Elon Musk is known for his remarkable achievements in various fields. His company Tesla is the leader in the electric car market by 2023, according to industry reports. But his ambitions go beyond the Earth, as his other company SpaceX demonstrated with its latest test of the Starship Super Heavy, the most powerful rocket booster ever built. And the Raptor rocket engine is a key component of this success. The latest test of the Raptor version 3 engine showed impressive results that surpassed all previous versions and competitors in terms of performance and efficiency. In this episode of Great SpaceX, we will explore the features and capabilities of this amazing engine. So strap in and sit tight, it's gonna be a wild ride. Musk and the SpaceX team in McGregor might never forget the day in May of 2023 when after a mountainous amount of effort and their tests on the new Raptor version finally came Came to an end. The test result is really impressive and is able to shock anyone who looks at it for the first time. Right afterward, a tweet appeared on Elon's Twitter. Raptor V3 just achieved 350 bar chamber pressure, 269 tons of thrust. Congrats to SpaceX propulsion team. Starship Super Heavy Booster has 33 Raptors, so a total thrust of 8,877 tons or 19 and a half million pounds. The tweet was spread out at a breakneck speed. By comparison, the Russian RD-180 engine with a staged combustion cycle only reached 267 bar. The first stage of the Atlas V is powered by one RD-180 engine, with a maximum thrust of 390 tons at sea level, which is much lower than the total thrust of a super heavy booster. The RD-180 features a dual combustion chamber and a dual nozzle design and is fueled by a kerosene liquid oxygen mixture. The famous RS-25 rocket engine used on the SLS of NASA dis despite its use of hydrogen as fuel is flammable and highly efficient, stopping at just 206.4 bar. The total thrust of the first stage of the SLS only gets up to half of that of the super heavy booster at 4,000 tons, using a fuel-rich staged combustion cycle. The closest engine to the Raptor that uses a phased combustion cycle with methane and oxygen is the BE-4 engine powering New Glenn and the Vulcan Centaur, which only produces 134 bar of chamber pressure. Side note, full flow staged combustion cycle is a type of phased combustion cycle. I did not know that, and hopefully now you know as well. The first stage of the New Glenn heavy launch vehicle including seven BE-4 engines has 1,000 1,743 tons of force. The five Rocketdyne F1 engines lifting the legendary Saturn V's SIC with 3,518 tons of thrust have surprisingly low chamber pressure at 70 bar each. It runs on a gas generator cycle fed by a mixture of kerosene and oxygen. In addition to that, the weight of the rocket engine is also a big deal. So let's go ahead and look at the weights of the Raptor RS-25, RD-180, and F1. One. The first one is the Raptor with a full flow staged combustion cycle. The Raptor version 2's mass clocks in at just 1600 kilograms. Although there are significant reductions here, the version 2 eventually became more stabilized as well as flame and heat proof. The heaviest engine on this list is the old school F1 rocket engine at 8400 kilograms. But the engine with the most complicated design is none other than the RD-180. It might not take much time to explain why since just one look at this image can clue you in on the idea of the size of both the combustion chamber and the nozzle. It's twice the size of all the other engines, and its dry weight, around 5,480 kilograms. Meanwhile, the RS-25 still looks very bulky despite undergoing several design updates and is also over twice the Raptor V2's weight. Based on the above comparison, we can see clearly that the latest Raptor version gets a very big shining point related to mass. All rocket manufacturers manufacturers would love for their rockets to be as light as possible because it's going into space and only Elon Musk can reach that perfect harmony of weight to power ratio. However, the changes in the cycle, propellant, and design are not all to give birth to the perfect one. It's a whole evolutionary process. Starting from conception in 2009 to August of 2016, the very first integrated Raptor engine manufactured in the California facility was shipped to SpaceX's McGregor to SpaceX's McGregor testing facilities for 
or development testing. This was followed by the completely redesigned version of the Raptor 1, dubbed Raptor 2, and then quickly after that, we were shocked by the news of the third iteration. The V3's result in the static fire test reached an increase of 18% more thrust over the Raptor 2. The V2 had only a 25% and 25 increase over Raptor 1, all while being a fifth of the weight lighter. This harkens back to Musk's mantra of simplifying and optimizing the design. According to everyday astronauts, SpaceX has been reducing the number of unneeded parts, which in turn optimized the Raptor engine's weight. They will also remove gimbling on the outer engines along with the shroud where possible. It's also likely that on top of increasing thrust, SpaceX will continue to reduce the weight by another 200 kilograms. There's no doubt that both Musk and the team at McGregor have been inching ever closer to their most perfect perfect Raptor iteration to date, but it's too soon to discuss in detail how Raptor 3 will be applied in the future. Even so, many people speculate that the opportunity for Raptor version 3 to perform in the second flight test is possible, which would bring us to the next development afterward. In 2022, at a SpaceX Starship update event, CEO Elon Musk indicated how hard it is to build a self-sustaining city on Mars. It's going to be incredibly difficult to make a self-sustaining city because if it's missing any ingredient at all, then if the ship from Earth stops coming for any reason, the city will die out. Starship is capable of doing that. It's capable of getting a million tons to the surface of Mars. This is exactly the reason why Musk always forces himself and his employees to evolve both the power and reliability of their Raptor engine. Raptor version 3 has still been under development and needs several stress tests. It could join in the second integrated flight test and then experience some important changes. Nevertheless, everything is uncertain, so let's wait to see more concrete data on this new engine before making any more speculation. In the meantime, the idea of Raptor version 3's presence in the second integrated flight test, which could only occur in the next few months, is exciting. When all current test results are in, why don't we raise the expectation of enjoying the Raptor 3's breathtaking performance on the upcoming occasion. Although Raptor version 3 can be chosen for the next flight test or not, it still plays an extremely important role in Elon Musk's ambitious journey, which is the colonization of Mars. The Raptor version 3 engine has undergone over a thousand engine tests at the McGregor facility over the past year. This means that Elon Musk and his team have experienced roughly a thousand failures on their way to achieving their goal. However, as Musk himself said at the party celebrating the huge event on April 20th, he always values failures because if things are not not failing, you are not innovating. We have every reason to believe that the next iteration of the Raptor version 3 engine will push the Starship program even further. This could bring Elon's dream of a self-sustaining city on Mars one step closer to reality. In addition to its physical achievements, the Raptor version 3 engine also represents Elon Musk's never give up attitude. The engine's success was not initially forecast, and even Elon himself was surprised. To be frank, we did not expect the engine to survive a full duration run at that pressure. It is uncharted territory, he said. Pushing the boundaries of human potential is not just about reaching new frontiers. It's also about inspiring generations to dream big. As a result, our world becomes a better place. Congrats to Elon Musk and his team for their unstoppable contributions to the advancement of human civilization. Well, folks, that wraps up our show for today. We hope you enjoyed learning more about the amazing Raptor version 3 engine. If you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.